Yo, como están? How's everyone doing? This is Wild Down Twos and thank you for joining me on my channel. Please remember to hit the like, the subscribe, and the bell for future notifications. And please try to watch the video to the end. This week is going to be pretty short. Uh, it won't be MC related. But this morning I did install the Kirkin Plug and Go Driver Seat Backrest, the TCMT Passenger Seat, and the XMT Moto 12 Inch Backrest Sissy Bar with the luggage rack for my Indian Chief Dark Horse. So I did, just to get started, I did order this through Amazon. Uh, I looked at the Indian uh, pricing and it was just, it was a big difference. For the backrest, uh, driver backrest, I think uh, through Amazon, the Currican was about $269. Indian is around $350 to $390. Then you have the backrest sissy bar with the luggage rack. I think I bought that for three three hundred dollars through Amazon, three hundred seven and change. The Indian for a quick release without the pad is four hundred to four hundred fifty bucks. Then if you get the the pad of, after that, it's one hundred sixty to two hundred dollars. And uh, last but not least, the passenger seat that I got, I think it was one hundred thirty bucks, one hundred thirty two dollars. An Indian for the same looking seat was three hundred nine dollars. So I ordered it through Amazon and going to show you a kind of videotape some of the install but before I forget the backrest does make a difference it is supporting my lower back it's comfortable it actually makes me sit a little more upright so it helps out my posture next thing I'm going to need is probably some ape hangers or some 14s but let's roll the intro Yo, we're back. So, right here is the driver backrest. As you can see, it has a little pouch in the back. It's actually Velcro, so you can flip this uh, over to the other side. Here's the mount, uh, the back seat. Here's my sissy bar with the luggage rack. The luggage rack will, rack will go in here, and the bolt and ball sure will type from the inside. Here's the backrest for the sissy bar, and here's the bolts. Unfortunately, the mount didn't come with any washers or bolts i am wearing my helmet that's the only way i can have my gopro uh, running but i already kind of just popped out this panel side panel it goes right here obviously it pops out uh, probably four i think there's a four or no five or six allen wrench uh, we'll just take uh this bolt off go to the other side take the other bolt off yep just drop it uh yeah i think that's a five let's go to the other side already took the panel off kind of try to loosen this up I just don't know if underneath the seat is gonna have any extra bolts cuz I it didn't it should have came, came with some bolts but uh, we'll find out just loosen there of course someone's calling let's see yeah not important all right we're just gonna take this off Okay, we'll take this off. So I already took the seat out. I actually put the mount. Forgot to stop the recording there for a second. Uh, but I used only one bolt. There's going to be a bolt back here. This is the back seat. Then I put the seat, the other seat on top of that. So I kind of already put some things together. Here's uh, the sissy bar. It just snaps right in. Uh, seems like it's going to be a good fit. Perfect fit. It has a quick release and pop it in pop it in and trying to pop it in there you go i gotta put this up and pop it in there you go lock and lock it feels sturdy yes it does and okay it looks really good all right, I had to uh, remove that uh, sissy bar to put the luggage rack, but it fits perfectly in there. Uh, backrest is nice and padded. This is very sturdy, fits right perfectly by the bags. This back seat is nice and cushioned. Uh, the backrest is good. It looks like it all belongs. And this is aftermarket parts. They're not from the OEM uh, Indian uh, catalog. 
Uh, like I said, uh, the bolts didn't come with the box for some reason, and uh, I used a 10 mil socket for the bolt in, underneath the seat. It's the it's the bolt that actually holds the ECU in place, and there's two bolts there, so I kind of used that just until I'm gonna go to Home Depot and grab some bolts. Uh, but it looks great. All right, well, I'm going to catch you on the road to just uh, give my final thoughts. All right, we're on the road. I'm just uh, took out the bike uh, to go some, do some run some errands. The backrest uh, does help uh, for my lower back. It is uh, makes it a little more comfortable, so a little better position. I did install the Corican uh, Plug and Go driver seat uh, backrest, the TCMT passenger seat and the XMT Moto 12 vent back rest sissy bar with luggage rack. This is for my 2016 Indian Chief Dark Horse. Uh, the only thing I kind of screwed up, I didn't have, I wasn't prepared. I thought the box came with bolts, but it didn't for the mount, for the back rest. Um, it was a 10, 10 mil socket that I used and the bolt was a 10 mil so um, bolt. Size I kind of forgot, but I just used uh, bolts that were holding the, the ECU in place. Uh, but it's really sturdy. It looks like it's not moving at all. It's not wiggling. So I might just leave it as is. But the back seat, I mean, everything took me, I mean, this video is like only five, six minutes. Um, but everything took me about 30 minutes to put together. Literally did not take that long. So I highly recommend it. If you're looking for aftermarket parts for your Indian Chief Dark Horse or even, I mean, they have them for the Harleys. So uh, leave any uh, comments in the sec in the comment section, and uh, till next time, much love and respect. Peace.